Hello and welcome to another Xenotic casting demo. Today we have Uncle Wolfie versus Jack. We're going to be on Wolfie's POV. We are on Hub, Arrowwalk, the old boy, the most played map in Arena FPS. And the one that a lot of people don't like for being played that much. We have Wolfie's POV and Jack, more of an Insta player, but has picked up over the last sort of six months, has picked up... Uh, weapon stalls pretty well starting off getting a lot of damage down onto Wolfie getting both the major items you're gonna start it off with getting the first frag Wolfie gonna be slightly on the back foot trying to keep it moving around both these players gonna have to play a very quick game both of them fairly fast players Wolfie more fast in the passive sense moves back a lot but can play aggressively forwards and Jack able to more push really hard being an instagib player push pushing forwards is more his style as we can see pushing in here just holding positions not wanting to go into wolfie i think this is the sort of a couple of games into a series of games between these two so jack clearly knows how wolfie likes to play doesn't want to go into one of wolfie's traps knowing that if he pushes too hard around a corner where wolfie's standing he will just be completely taken out Wolfie going to get blown up by his own grenade there. Unfortunate for him, but I'm sure Jack would have finished the job if his own grenade hadn't. Now we're into another fight. Wolfie getting some unfortunate positioning there. Not quite being able to get away with it. And a very nice rocket down there. Could be able to make something of this. Has managed to pick up the mega health. Hasn't got much health himself. Jack probably very low, but manages to get another frag. This should again go to Jack, but Jack leaves the current situation. Wolfie very low. Jack can't have more than about 50 health. Picks up the mega armor. Moving around the bottom now. We can hear Jack just picking up some health, so he can't be any more than 100 right now. I think that was the sound of picking up the mega health. So Jack probably fairly stacked. Wolfie massively on the back foot here. Going to need to make quite a good comeback. But this is a map that goes swinging one way and then the other. Very quickly on the turn of a coin and the grabbing of an armour. And both of these players fairly experienced. Wolfie for certain is not going to be perturbed by the, uh, by the sudden loss of this game at the start well, we're not going to make a sudden uh, sudden score loss into a sudden loss of the whole game starting to pull it back slightly here there's two very quickly in succession you can see how the control of this game goes very quickly to the other player Wolfie now grabbing some armors so manages to get position and then from that manages to get into uh, the right armors and the right health to be able to pull through. Hitting some nice shots over the top here. Beautiful necks. Finishes him off and gets a couple of bits from these respawns. But he's not getting the full kill. No, uh, no spawn fragging here. But a reasonable amount of damage and certainly forcing Jack to back off so if one of the items was to come up very shortly after I'd be forcing him off also trying to get jack through that teleporter listening for that sound hearing when he came through beautiful shot there to tie it up sees where jack spawn gets a little bit of damage over the side there but a beautiful bit of play down there from wolf snipe at the mega to be able to take that and take control really having a grip now on this Jack's pushing in aggressively, trying to rip the grip away, and it seems to be working. Wolf Snipe's now lost the confidence in the control that he had a minute ago. You can see he's backing off into different positions. He's not holding his position right until he needs to go somewhere. He's getting to there first, knowing that Jack is in a good position to be able to do some damage here. He's trying to put some pressure onto Jack, trying to find this frag, wants to get ahead. But it's going to be tough for him to do. 
He has found one frag though, getting into the lead. There's a second, very nice, coming up to the halfway mark just about now. Jack's going to need to take back a bit of control. He's not fully relinquished control to Wolfie just yet. At one point, Wolfie had complete control of the map, but was unable to find Jack and unable to find the kills. And for half of that time, Jack still had the stack from when he was entirely in control for the first three minutes. Score difference now three frags up to Wolfie. It's a pretty close game still. And as we've seen, the uh, shift in frags can come very quickly with the right sort of move from either of these two players or a mistake from the one in control Wolfie carefully dancing around the map now doesn't want to push him too hard it's a bit it's obviously way too early to start thinking about full retreat but he's just got to hold his position keep the pressure on and if he can manage to just keep an even amount of pressure taking as much damage as he deals he's got this one but at the minute he's managing to deal a lot more damage getting really putting the pressure on Jack right now getting up to that 200 health mark that's always an indication that someone has a very good control over the map they're able to take the mega while having full health which means they've picked up some uh, some health which isn't quite that near to the mega and they've not taken any damage while standing to protect that mega so it's definitely an indication Wolfie has good control over the map here he's got very good um, grenade aim it knows where to place things good prediction whereas Jack once he sees you Jack has very good in fight aim and Wolfie's sort of a lot of this damage. I think if you look very, if you watch carefully for it, you'll notice it. A lot of Wolfie's damage is coming from when he can't see the opponent. He knows where they are. He can hear them, or he's just watched them go out, or he knows, you know, the sort of route they're probably going to take. Doing a lot of damage outside of seeing the opponent and kind of just guessing where they're going to turn up next, or where they are when you just straight up can't see them. It's a good thing to have in this game, which is a very, very projectile-oriented game, so prediction is important. So, Wolfie's got six frags in the lead, but Jack's definitely, while well, we've been talking about uh, playstyle, Jack's been taking back a little bit of control. Beautiful shot right there from Jack. Wolfie made a slight mistake. Should be punished for this. Jack's going to find him. Hopefully he does punish him for this. Jack goes down. Yeah, Wolfie is going to go down. Almost didn't get the frag there though. It's definitely well deserved to get that point on the board. Wolfie made quite a grave mistake. He's pulled back a little bit of damage. Jack a little bit confused. Very aggressive play here from Wolfie after he's kind of he didn't lose control there I wouldn't have said or he lost control but Jack didn't gain control so when you know that that's the case you want to put push a very aggressively after you respawn because your opponent's probably not going to have the most health in the world and you're going to be able to very quickly retake the control and even get a couple of frags like Wolfie was able to on the board Doing a very good job of holding this position. We're coming up to almost one minute to go now. Wolfie looks like he's got this wrapped up, but certainly stranger things have happened in this game. And it's definitely not been a runaway completely. The score may tell otherwise, but Jack's held on to control and definitely still pushing Wolfie right to the bitter end. Going to find another frag, make the score 11 to 6 here. Wolfie's going to delay spawn. Try to put Jack off. Doesn't want to get spawn fragged here. Doesn't want to get taken out completely. And certainly wants as much time just waiting in the wings as possible. Jack seemingly doesn't have complete control over the time. Uh, Wolfie able to pick that up quite late. Nice little air shot. Wolfie getting tele uh, teleported through and bounced across. A nice bit of spawn damage there from Jack. Finding Wolfie off the spawn. Unfortunate move there from Wolfie. Gonna be 
three frags left in it. Ten seconds. Wolfie's going to need to spawn delay. He's jumping back and forth. Could get taken out if Jack comes in quickly. There he is, but he's going to spawn delay. And there we have it. Uncle Wolfie takes it from Jack. And a very close game. And Jack almost coming back at the end there. Even with such little time after he regained control. But thank you very much for watching. Please send your demos over to me. I am MX Craven on IRC. Just ask for me. Someone will be able to find me if that's not my current nickname. I will see you in the next one of these that I do.